Hello, every pony art Lisiana here. Link to my Divinian art in the description below and also for my Patreon if you like to do that. Now, today I was just going to talk about the new MLP episode. If you haven't seen it, it's going to be a link in the description down below that takes you to the episode so you can go and watch the episode before you see this. The episode's name is Do Princesses Dream of Magical Sheep? I do believe it was that. And yeah, if you don't like this kind of stuff, uh, click away or I'll stay. Yeah, here we go. 3, 2, 1. Warning, this video will contain pictures from Google and other places that is not mine. Please go and give the respect to the owners of these copyright and pictures. Okay, yeah. So finally we get the episode where we see why Princess Luna became Nightmare Moon and how hard she have taken it upon herself and feeling bad and you know having this recurrent nightmare to take you know punishment for what she did and stuff like that and i also think it's interesting the power that she uses you know the thinking power or how to call that the small yeah things that puts on their head when they're dreaming i don't know how to explain that but i do believe that it was a very great episode there was a lot to take in a lot of great visuals and it was very beautiful and i learned a lot actually um sometimes you have to forgive yourself for past mistakes that you made and yeah i can also be bad at that myself so i know how hard it must be for nightmare uh, moon to be luna again or how to say that or the other way around for luna to become one with nightmare moon so she doesn't uh, give all of the world nightmares <laughs> I was also thinking about the Equal Ponies, um, the song that goes like if you don't have a nightmare you can never dream or is it like if you don't dream you will never have a nightmare. Uh, she could definitely use those ponies but I do feel like it was very interesting to see what the main six are dreaming about and how it all is. like. I do like the best one was Fluttershy being uh, the pet to, you know, angels. So I do like that very much. It also shows that she's now open for a company or how to say that. And I do believe that makes it more difficult in the future. But let's just wait and see. Now, something that was totally what the fuck moment and where i was just like uh scratching my head and being like it was the big mac alicorn but i must admit i was not that surprised actually i was um, looking forward to seeing it i have noticed a lot of fan art uh, of it even before it was a thing in the show I know it's a part of a dream, but I do believe that Hasbro is going to sell it as a toy now. Because, yeah, who wouldn't dream about being, you know, Alicorn and being having all of this power and stuff like that. Some, some of the powers I was also very um, fond about with uh, Filthy Rich doing the money and power or how to say that i would love to have that power in real life but yeah i'm guessing that it's not going to be that easy but yeah i do believe it was very beautiful episode especially the ending and i will not spoil it here but let's just say that nightmare moon becomes one with luna and luna becomes one with nightmare moon again and she i do believe that she finds herself it's also pretty interesting to know that Celestia can't help Luna in this case because it's in the dream world and Luna was like, well, it's only me that controls dreams and stuff like that. So I was definitely on my point with Luna controlling, uh, you know, dreams and the past 
So I do believe that Celestia controls, you know, the future a little bit and, you know, the day or how to say that. I guess there's something also called daydreaming, but yeah, never mind. Just, yeah, let it slide because I do believe that they both have very great power and stuff like that. And it also makes me think that I definitely are putting my money on that, uh, you know, Sunset Glimmer is going after uh, Celestia because, you know, Nightmare Moon or it's just becoming Luna again and Luna just found herself again. So I'm not quite sure that she's willing to give up her cutie mark. Actually, Sunset Glimmer just passed a great opportunity again but uh, she can't know stuff about that because she can't walk in dreams so yeah let's just be happy that you know sunset glimmer can't go into people's dreams or else you know she would uh, probably take luna's cutie mark and be nightmare glimmer or how to say that that sounds very <laughs> scary but I do believe that Sunset Glimmer is after Celestia's cutie mark. And I do believe that Cadence also have something to do with it. I don't know how yet. But I also think it was very interesting to see the struggle between, you know, Nightmare Moon and Luna in this beautiful episode. And there was some fan service. There was a big derby and stuff like that. And I do really enjoy stuff where the ones that make the episode just make it flow. Like I do believe that it was more flowy this episode. And I do believe also that Spike did an okay job. And uh, we had some throwbacks to the episode where Fluttershy becomes a uh, bat. And the episode where Spike believes that he's a knight in shining armor and stuff like that. So I do believe there was a lot of referencing to stuff. <sighs> also the thinking thing reminded me actually of a film that I once saw. But I can't get my head around it right now. But actually I thought it was pretty creepy. <laughs> I was like, no, no, it's it's not it's not good. But yeah, um, I do believe also that it's actually healthy to have a nightmare sometimes. But the thing that Luna did to herself is not okay. You should not be punishing yourself with a nightmare if that's even possible for yourself to do that. I'm not quite sure that we can do that in real life, but we can surely make it hard for ourselves to you know live on with the guilt and stuff like that and i do believe that the episode brings out a very great message to all to follow and um, yeah that's actually all that i have to say today do remember to take care of yourself uh, do remember that inspiration is right around the corner and do remember to have fun and please try to have good dreams and no nightmares yeah that's actually all okay yeah bye